Hi, welcome back to Family and Fit, where we talk fitness and how to integrate it in your busy lifestyle. So, today we'll be talking about fat loss supplements, pre-workouts, and different type of stimulants. I mainly want to target fat loss supplements and pros and cons of them. And I mainly want to discuss one particular topic on why you should stop taking fat loss burning supplements. So just give you guys a little bit of context, I'm driving back right now from Crestline, Ohio. I'm currently not in Crestline anymore, I'm driving through like the country roads and these country highways and people pulling in front of me while I'm driving, I'm recording video, oh thanks guy. Currently driving back to Evansville, Indiana, home. I've been up here for about a month now. I came up here December like 5th or something like that. And it's uh, now January 12th. In half a mile, turn right onto the I-71 South Ramp. Yeah, I'm super stoked to get home. In a minute, I'm missing my family real bad. I'm missing my kids. You know, I got four of them. So it's like I'm missing them all so much. And one of them's one year old. So he's like starting to do all kinds of stuff. My two year old, well, he's three now. He's starting to do all kinds of stuff. He's starting to talk real well. So I'm just like, I feel like I'm missing out on a lot right now. Turn right onto the I-71 South Ramp. So let's dive in to why we're actually making this video here. I've actually been staying pretty consistent with going to the gym and everything while I've been out of town. Uh, I'm gonna make some more videos now that I'm gonna get home. I'm actually gonna take a vacation week when I get home and I'm mainly gonna focus on YouTube and making a lot more content. And I'm gonna make some more travel videos on like different tips and stuff like that to uh, be able to travel and still stay on top of your fitness goals uh, as far as diet and workout routine and just kind of some different uh, ways to manipulate things and I'm probably going to break those up into a bunch of different videos so make sure you're hitting that subular button and uh, getting that hit that notification bell that way you get notified whenever we post this dope content back to it why do I think that you should not be taking any fat loss burner supplements now I'm going to make more videos on the whole fat burner topic uh, because I think those supplements need to be addressed more because I think that a lot of people take them thinking they're a magic pill and if you want to know if they're a magic pill or not you're gonna have to hit that subular button because that's coming in another video uh, I just kind of want to talk today about why I think you shouldn't and I really only got one reason that I'm gonna talk about today uh, there's other reasons but you'll like I said you have to just watch some of the other videos coming out over the topic what I noticed and what I've realized is I personally use fat loss burner supplements only as a stimulant. Same thing as like a pre-workout. That's the only thing I'm really using fat burners for. But I've really noticed something the, on the, through the course of these past few weeks and me working out and working 12 hour shifts and taking a lot of fat burners and a lot of caffeine and whatnot to get through my workouts. And that is your workouts, whereas you may be taking the stimulant to get a better workout, it might actually be inhibiting your workout and making your workout worse. And I've always been very in tune with my body. So my body basically kind of talks to me, tells me, like, hey, you probably shouldn't do that. And I started getting those cues, especially like doing stuff like the dumbbell uh, dumbbell press. And what I was noticing is like I would hit a few sets of something. So say for instance, this is how my workout routine was going. I was hitting shoulder press with dumbbells. And I did like maybe seven, ten sets of that. And then I was going to get in some more volume of flat dumbbell bench press. And what I noticed... I went up in weight pretty quick, I always do, and then I got to my 75s that I generally do my work in sets with. I felt super uncomfortable trying to lift them. I was like super like jittery and super wobbly and like I just felt like my nervous system was just shot. And so that kind of brings us to the, the whole point of this video is that I think stimulants overstimulate you so much that they cause your nervous system to react more than what it needs to react. So therefore, whenever you're doing just your working sets, uh, I think your I think your nervous system burns out a lot more quickly than your muscular system. And anybody who's ever done strength workouts will kind of know what I'm talking about. Uh, so a lot of times when you do a strength program, the strength program will actually the strength program will actually cause you to be cause you to neurologically fatigue before muscularly and what you'll notice is like you get start getting real shaky you'll start to feel like like pains and discomfort it's not like muscle burning pain while you're working out this stuff you'll feel like after the set and you'll feel it kind of like creeping on like I feel it a lot in my triceps when I do strength workouts and that's kind of like an indicator that you're burning yourself out uh, neurologically and not muscularly and if your goal is to build muscle 
that really is not going to be good for you. Now, for strength workouts, your your overall lift, your overall workout may look like it's hindered, may look like you're not making progress, may look may not actually be able to physically lift as many uh, reps, sets, any of it. You're not going to get near as much volume. I don't know if it'll necessarily hinder that part of your workout because of the neurological fatigue. Strength has a lot to do with your neurological system. Uh, a lot of strength is is der derived from your your body's cues and ability to fire the right muscles at the right time. And it's that firing of the muscle that gets wore out. And uh, that's why you start getting shaky and like your just arms are just shaking everywhere. All right guys, camera dropped if you didn't see that. So yeah, being that I was mainly trying to focus on a hypertrophy style workout and trying to build muscle essentially, uh, I was able to not get in near as much weight at the, I was not able to get near as much volume in at the weight that I wanted to get it in at. Like I generally like to get all my volume in at 75 pounds and that's just because that's the heaviest that Planet Fitness goes up to. I'd get my volume in at an even higher weight. Uh, being that's what I got there, and that's my primary gym. I gotta work with what I got. And I literally had to drop drunk I literally had to drop down to like 55 pounds to be able to comfortably do the weight. Like every part of it, like from rocking back and, and going to a set position to be able to do the workout, uh, to being able to actually press it. I wasn't able to press out near as many reps. Uh, I just felt super uncomfortable leaning back and every time I rolled back with the weights, like generally I do it pretty smooth and it looks really good. Like people are like, hey, this guy knows what he's doing. But no, this time it's like, I look like it's my first time ever picking up some dumbbells uh, just because I felt so uncomfortable and so like the weights were just dropping my face or like I wasn't going to be able to control the weight. Like like somebody that's lifted way too heavy of a weight for them. And it was just, like I said, is overall the fat burners were just causing me to be way too fatigued. Uh, and it seems like the more you take and the more stimulated you get, the faster you burn out and the, the less volume you're, you're going to be able to get in. Uh, now you could drop the weight really f low down and get in hella volume and you might actually make some decent progress because of that because I do believe highly in because you have different muscles firing and they're not necessarily firing in the correct order because of muscle fatigue uh, you're definitely going to be way more prone to injury but I think that may st stimulate more or different types of gains than uh, if you're not super fatigued and super stimulated. It's like whenever you get fatigued and you and you keep on going set after set. Now, you're going further than you probably need to if you have that much muscular fatigue, but if you get to the point where uh, it's a nervous system fatigue, a lot of times I'll even perform my strength workouts in that manner. So I'll do a strength workout and I'll get in 10, 15 sets of my strength workout and then I'll jump into a hypertrophy afterwards and get in like you know three to four sets of something that's just higher volume that way I'm targeting the muscle a little bit more and not just the and not as much of the, of the nervous system so that's just one reason why I think you should not be taking fat burner pills stay tuned and we'll be making more videos along those lines we'll be making all kinds of videos like I plan on making hella videos this year 2019 we're crushing it hit going for a thousand subscribers so make sure you hit that subular button for us please uh, and we're gonna make sure we make this quality content, content more quality, or however you say it, but we're gonna make it happen. Catch y'all in the next one.